Hello and welcome back to the channel and today you join me for an achievement guide video. Now this is where I'm going to show you guys 6 ultra rare achievements in Forza Horizon 5 and how you can get them all. Now they are all fairly easy achievements to get so without further ado let's get stuck into the first one. Now this one's called Ford of the Wings and it wants you to earn 3 stars at the Eagles Perch Danger Sign in a Ford Supervan 3. So this one is really really quite easy. So first of all you're going to want to pick out the car in question. So this is a 1994 Ford Supervan 3. It can be purchased for half a million credits or one in a wheel spin or one from the auction house. Now I've created a tune for you guys to use. The share code is 104920002 uh, and it should help you get 3 stars on the Eagles Eagles perch. Now this is the danger sign in question, so three stars on here requires you to smash 950 feet from the danger sign. Luckily there is a quite a nice bit of road there to do a run up from uh, and you want to hit the danger sign at around 200 mile an hour in order to nail this one. But again it is really really easy to do. I would definitely recommend tuning your super van as well as that will make it go a lot easier. The standard uh, super van you'll probably need a much longer run up and I don't even think it will hit 200 miles an hour so you probably won't get it but there's the first achievement 20 gamer score nice and easy now the next one here called dust in the lens wants you to take a photo featuring the grand telescopio and a dust storm now again this one's quite easy but dust storms aren't that common so what i've done here is created a race for you guys to use as a blueprint up here by the Grand Telescopio, so that's up by the Caldera Volcano. Now the race I used was the last Junas Cross Country Circuit. Um, if you hop on there in solo mode and go over to Event Lab Creations, by hitting the back button, that's how you search for someone's blueprint. So this one is called Dust in the Lens Achievement. The share code is 47944241. And like I said, in order to search for a share code, just hit the back button or search and then enter the text under the share code. Uh, type in the share code that I've just shared with you guys and you'll bring up this Dust in the Lens Achievement race that I've created. Now you can use any car you want for this. There's no sort of criteria for it. As soon as the race starts, you'll be right next to this massive telescope. So once you do, bring up the camera, get your car obviously in the shot and quite a big proportion of the actual telescope itself. Now, if you don't get the achievement first time, I'd recommend adjusting the camera around until you do. You don't actually have to hit A to take the photo either. All you need to do is hit the actual right bumper and that will take the sort of promo quick shot and that will still enable you to get the achievement. So the next one, really, really easy. Now the next one here is called A Royal Affair and it wants you to, at sunrise, take a photo of your car with some monarch butterflies at Hotel Mirador Baldorama. Now again, this is a really easy one, but the key part of this is taking a photo of your car with the monarch butterflies in the background. So again, I have created a race for you guys. So just above the eliminator there, you've got the Hotel Mirador and there is a Las Ranas cross country race. Now, when you head over to this one, I've created a blueprint race called a Royal Affair Achievement. And the share code for this one is 10861578. So type that one in and you'll be entered into this race. And again, it's super easy. You don't even have to set off the line for this one and you don't actually have to be near the hotel itself, just in this general location. So once the race starts, hit up on the D-pad to go into photo mode and then straight away turn around so you're facing the car looking behind it and as you can see in the air there are lots of little sort of dots speckled around uh, which are the butterflies the monarch butterflies again if you don't get the achievement just keep adjusting your foot your camera around so you can get some of them in the background with your car in fact I, all I did is just turn around but again another easy 10 gamer score now the next one here called Unlimited Prowess wants you to complete round 3 in all 5 themes of Horizon Arcade. So as you may be aware there are 5 different Horizon Arcade events that you can do from speed, wreckage, drift etc. Now. As you can see here, the achievement itself keeps track of the progress. So with there being five, it will jump up in increments of 20% each time you complete one. And that is fully complete in the third round and getting your 60 Forza Thumb points. So as you can see here, I've already completed four different types. This wreckage type is my fifth and final one. So it's actually quite good if you keep track of which ones you have done in the past. Now, the good thing about this and why I've included it in this achievement guide is because if you do them on your own now, they are super quick 
quick and easy to actually complete so as you can see here because i'm doing it on my own i require less points than if you're in a group of five or six people so they are much more doable now since the last update from the guys at playground games uh, and this is why i've added it in here so it doesn't take that long and once you've completed one normally another one will pop up for you to do anyway so there's a much sort of higher chance you've been able to do them very quickly but like i said all you have to do is complete the third round of five different types of horizon arcade events now the fifth achievement here is called cactus makes perfect and it wants you to smash 500 cacti during the wet season now of course wet season only comes around once every festival playlist but again i've created a race for you guys to do that will enable you to unlock this achievement here so if you head over to the emerald circuit just in the south of the map uh, i have created a race called cactus makes perfect achievement now the share code for this is 100 401445 and it's set during the rain season again with no ai driver tires in the race now as you can see here there is one big sort of lap that i've done there and what i've done is encompass sort of all of the cacti within there so i've driven around so you don't have to follow the route just sort of stick within it and that's where all the cacti are Again, I would recommend bringing up the actual accolade for it so you can keep track of it as you can see in the left hand side there. So every cactus you smash will be tallied up in the corner and you know where you're at. A good thing about this one as well, you've got as much time as you want in order to complete this. It's all during the wet season, it all counts. So you can do this even if we're in the current season of I think it's the storm season or whichever, really easy to do. Now if you're doing this on your own in a solo race as well, you can rewind and the cacti will respawn. Thank you very much Jim Bob for pointing this out and during the snowman challenge that we recently had. So this works great for this challenge. So if you line up a sort of long run of cacti and you smash them all down, hit rewind and do the same long run again and smash them all. And keep doing that if you really want to to smash more and more cactus in quick succession instead of driving around. And one of the other things I've done during this race is I've incorporated loads of hot air balloons around to sort of point out where the big amounts of cacti are located. But this one here just outside of Horizon Festival, there's a lot located there. And like I said, keep hitting the rewind button uh, and smashing them really easy and it won't take too long to unlock that achievement. You can also finish the race as well, so you'll end up with about 30,000 credits if you want to do that. Now we're going to move on to the sixth and final achievement called Water Performance, which wants you to earn three stars at the Puerta Patria and La Marisma Trailblazers within three minutes and 30 seconds. Now this is definitely the trickiest achievement out of the whole bunch that I've done today, but it is definitely doable, as long as you're using the right car, that is. Now, I use the Hunaganaris 200. The share code for the tune is 183-841-989, and that's available for everyone to use. Again, I would recommend pinning the Trailblazer Accolade Water Performance, because this carries a countdown with it, so it can tell you how long you've got. Now, one thing to note is that going from Trailblazer to Trailblazer, you cannot sort of uh, just fast travel. You have to drive from one to the other. So I started off at the La Marisma Trailblazer and then had to drive all the way up to the other Trailblazer. Uh, like I said, you cannot fast travel to it, otherwise it will completely eradicate all of your progress and start you from scratch. Now, as you can see, the 3 minute 30 second timer has not started yet. It starts once you've finished and 3 starred your first trailblazer out of the two. You can rewind as much as you want in the first one and it, of course, will not affect your time, both trailblazer and overall for the achievement. But the second you complete that first trailblazer and you're driving to the second one, as you can see here, the timer has started and once you rewind even when you're just driving to the other one the timer of three minute 30 seconds will continue to keep counting down so you must keep sort of eye on that so you don't rewind too many times now as you saw there i pretty much drove across the road and then after a while i just went as the crow flies cross country sort of thing what I would say is as long as you get to the second trailblazer with at least 50 seconds left, you should be good to complete it as long as you don't crash too many times. So I got to the second trailblazer with about a minute and five seconds left and figured that I could probably hit the rewind tool once or twice max. But you still have to remember that you need to three star these trailblazers as well. 
So like I said, this is the trickiest one out of the lot, but it is definitely doable as long as you're using the right claw. It does also help to sort of memorize them, do the trailblazers a couple of times before you actually go for the achievement if you want to do it that way, but definitely doable and a nice 20 gamer score there as well. Now if there are any achievements that you are struggling to try and get and I have not included in today's video then please do let me know down below in the comments and I will try my very best to create a guide for it even if I've already completed it or if you're struggling with anything in today's video any of the achievements again let me know down below in the comments and I will help you out as best as I can. But apart from that folks, <clears throat> I hope this video did help you out and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would very much appreciate if you could drop a like and subscribing massively helps my channel out. But apart from that, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care.